one of the things that makes Christian hip hop so special is the fact that you have to remain true to the genre. And, you know, I'm a firm believer that, you know, Jesus wins regardless. Um, if you're going to talk about him, if you're in the context or the genre of Christian hip hop, you have to be able to talk about it. The cool thing about it is that you have so, he, he's, he's so creative. Um, anytime you have a, an infinite being expressing himself in a finite manner, he gets extremely creative. Um, there are so many, even though you have a catfish, there's so many different type of catfish. Uh, even though you have uh, an orange, black stripe reptile. There is a lot of different uh, black stripe orange reptile. Like uh, you go over there to the Asian world, and you call a Chinese Japanese, they'll get offended. Uh, they may seem like they're the same to us, but they're very different. Their dialect is different. Everything about them is different. So even in creative, in, in the whole scheme of Christian hip hop. You have so many different ways of expressing it to yourself if you allow Jesus to use you. The problem is that people are afraid to, uh, or are afraid for them to, to allow Jesus to use them. So they feel like they almost have to kind of cater to both sides. Let me kind of be bland or let me uh, be open in my subject matter or whatever so I can kind of appeal to a master audience. And the opposite ends up happening. You don't appeal to nobody because you're in a state of confusion. If you're going to Christian hip hop, don't be afraid to talk about Christ. Uh, embrace it. And when you embrace it, he'll give you a whole lot of ways of being creative with it. So that's what I have to say about that.